So we have a new ad from Republicans Against Trump. They compare him to Reagan here. Let's watch, and then I will explain to you why this is kind of absurd. For the first time in our memory, many Americans are asking, does history still have a place for America? There are some who answer no, that we must tell our children not to dream as we once dreamed. Together, tonight, let us say that America is still united, still strong, still compassionate, still willing to stand by those who are persecuted or alone. For those who are victims of police states or government-induced torture or terror, let us speak for them. I believe we can embark on a new age of reform in this country that will make government again responsive to people. We can fight corruption while we work to bring into our government women and men of competence and high integrity. Tomorrow, you will be making a choice between different visions of the future. Are you more confident that our economy will create productive work for our society? Or are you less confident? Do you feel you can keep the job you have or gain a job if you don't have one? Are you pleased with the ability of young people to buy a home, of the elderly to live their remaining years in happiness, of our youngsters to take pride in the world we have built for them? Are you convinced that we have earned the respect of the world and our allies? Let us resolve tonight that young Americans will always find a city of hope in a country that is free. And let us resolve they will say of our day and of our generation that we did keep faith with our God, that we did act worthy of ourselves, that we did protect and pass on lovingly that shining city on a hill. So the implication of that ad clearly in no uncertain terms is look Trump is really 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 bad here's Reagan and he's good like oh look at the dichotomy don't you wish we could go back to the days when we had serious good Republican presidents that's what the whole point of the ad is let's compare Trump to former Republican presidents and see Trump is so bad and former Republican presidents look how good and serious they were and look how beautiful this speech is that's the point of the ad and I saw people who are nominally on the left praising this ad. You, without even realizing it, these people are sanitizing the Republican Party and former Republican presidents. Stop doing that. It's like this revival of George W. Bush that we've seen in the Trump years, where even people on the left now have a favorable opinion of him. Have you people lost your minds? George W. Bush is a war criminal. He did torture his economic policies helped crash the economy. He did an illegal and offensive war against a country that didn't attack us, killed minimum 200,000 civilians. That, that's not okay. But now, you're basically excusing all that stuff because Trump bad. I agree, Trump bad. I'm not saying Trump's good. But the other Republican presidents were bad too. And in many instances, sometimes even worse than Trump. And I'm saying that based on the policies, based on the actual record. So, listen. Reagan was not good. Reagan, let me give you a little list here that I jotted down as I was watching that ad. Reagan accelerated the war on drugs, which is the new Jim Crow. So Ronald Reagan is pro the new Jim Crow. Lock up poor white people in minority communities as much as possible. He accelerated the war on drugs. He cut taxes for the rich. He deregulated Wall Street. He massively increased defense spending. He fired nearly 12,000 striking air traffic control workers. He was colossally anti-union. He cut Department of Education funding in half. And he very famously ignored the AIDS crisis. Those things are inexcusable. And they're not okay. Stop rehabbing his image. Stop right now. And listen, this really gets to, it's almost like the argument that I've made all along is even more true than I realized. <laughs> because what did I say? It's all about the decorum and the civility and the presentation of it all. So the reason why Democrats now are giving Reagan a pass is because he sounds presidential. Look at him. He talks like he's a serious person and president. And he doesn't fire off mean tweets. And he has a filter and he watches his words and he says pretty things from time to time. Yes. So you're 
th these people are admitting that they're suckers. They're like, listen, you could keep doing as, m as much terrible stuff as you want, but just BS me to my face and I'll be happy. That's what this is. That's what this is an admission of. Hey, as long as you BS me, we're good. Stop rehabbing Republican monsters. Reagan was a monster. You don't have to say Reagan good to make the point that Trump bad. But again, this is what happens when you have former Republicans or current Republicans against Trump. Is that seriously, the only reason they dislike Trump is because of the mean tweets and because he's unhinged. I'm not kidding. They're like, man, you can't make us look professional as you do all these terrible policies. That's why we're against you. That's the only reason. So if you're on the left, recognize that. And do not boost these charlatans and these frauds.